first an update on a trial that we've been waiting on for years. A chilling 911 call shakes up a courtroom today in Kalamazoo County. You just heard a young Kalamazoo County mother confront her two-year-old daughter while on the phone with 911 dispatchers in December of 2019. She was hiding upstairs with her daughter while she says an intruder held her 22-year-old husband hostage at gunpoint before police say he shot and killed him. The suspect appeared in court today for day one of his trial. And News Channel 3's Ali Jenner John's been there all day, joining us now live with more of the wife's very emotional testimony. Ali. Andy, Trisha, Haley Co testifies that she was in her Comstock home with her husband, Christopher Neal, and their two-year-old daughter when 35-year-old William Jones broke in through their back door. Co says she took her daughter and hid in an upstairs bedroom while Jones held her husband hostage at gunpoint in a downstairs bedroom. Co did not make eye contact with Jones, the defendant, during her testimony today. We saw her loved ones crying and holding hands, bent over their seats as Co's 911 call from that night was played. They they listened to Co try to calm down her two-year-old daughter who was crying out for her dad. Co says she heard police knock down their front door and begin ne negotiating with Jones. That's when she heard multiple gunshots. We're crying and I couldn't make her happy. Were you afraid as to whether or not the defendant might hear that? Yes, they kept shushing her and shushing her, but she'll stop. What were you afraid might happen if the defendant heard you or your daughter upstairs? That he might know what room we were in and that like possibly that we could be shot through the floor or whatever or he would come upstairs or we could just get hurt. Now, Co says in court today that she did not know Jones, neither did her husband. She also shared that she was pregnant at the time of the attack, her son now two years old. Investigators say Jones also shot and injured multiple police officers. He's now facing 19 charges, including open murder, home invasion, and attempted murder. Boy, cool Stay with her. A Kalamazoo police officer breaks down in court today. He is testifying in a long-awaited trial for a man accused of breaking into a young family's home in December of 2019 and holding them hostage. Investigators say he shot and killed a man. News Channel 3's Ali Jenner John was in Kalamazoo County Court today and joins us live there now with what this officer says happened when he arrived to that home. Ali. Erica, in court today, the officer says he worked his way upstairs after entering this Comstock home. He found a mother and her two-year-old daughter hiding in an upstairs bedroom. Downstairs, he says officers gathered outside of a bedroom where the suspect, William Jones, held a 22-year-old father, Christopher Neal, at gunpoint. Investigators say Jones did not know Neal or his family. Neal's, and lo Neal's loved ones filled the seats in a Kalamazoo County courtroom today, wiping their eyes along with Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety officers officer Jerry Libretto, who began crying during his testimony. Libretto says when he found Neil's wife and their daughter, they were sitting in the middle of an empty room. Her legs were shaking. She had a baby in one arm uh, wrapped to her chest. With the other arm, she had a cell phone. She was talking to what I believe to be dispatch. After this, Libretto says he heard gunshots and bullets rip apart a door downstairs. Soon after, he says he and another officer found Neil lying face down dead. Now the suspect, Jones, is on trial facing 19 charges, including open murder, attempted murder, and home, home invasion. Over Kalamazoo, where we are very carefully following some new developments and a separate shooting that injured three Kalamazoo officers two days after a brutal murder of a young father and husband who was held hostage and shot to death in his own home. His accused killer faced a judge for the very first time today. Prosecutors have charged 35-year-old William Jones with no fewer than 19 felonies, the most serious of which, the murder of Christopher Neal. He's accused of breaking into Neal's home, killing him, and holding his family hostage. Jones is also accused tonight of shooting three responding officers 
who are all recovering from their injuries. Houston 3's Mike Krasik is live at the Kalamazoo County Courthouse with new information on what unfolded during that home invasion. Mike. Well, Andy, uh, Jones shook his head uh, back and forth to, as the charges were read out loud today in disbelief. Uh, deputies say he entered that home with two guns and then shot 22-year-old Christopher Neal once in the head. William Jones in court today, charged with the murder of 22-year-old Christopher Neal. The suspect did murder Christopher Neal. On Sunday night, deputies say Jones entered Neal's home through an unlocked door, then ordered Neal's wife and two-year-old daughter to stay upstairs. He kept Christopher down at the hospital or forced him uh, to stay down there with him on the lower level of the house. Deputies say Jones made Neal call 911. Deputies arrived at the scene. Uh, they formed a perimeter, tried to communicate with the uh, suspect. They say Jones locked Neal in a first floor bedroom, then eventually shooting him once in the head. They heard shots that were fired. Deputies say Neil shot at the officers who rushed inside. Unannounced, he started firing rounds through the door. Jones was taken into custody after jumping out of a window. Jones faces more than a dozen charges, including murder, home invasion, and assault with intent to murder. When asked if he understands the charges, Jones said no. At one point, Jones asks the judge to sentence him. A defendant in Michigan can't plead guilty during the arraignment. If I plead guilty to all these right now, can I get sentenced today so I can hurry up and go to prison for life like everybody wants, or what? You're not going to plead today. You're pleading that guilty today. Jones has a length, lengthy criminal history, including previous convictions for assaulting police officers. Right now, Jones faces multiple life sentences. He's due back in court next week. Live in Kalamazoo, Mike Kravesick, News Channel 3. Mike, we thank you, and we've been covering this tragedy since it happened on Sunday night, and we're live at the scene. We have talked to neighbors, police, and family to learn more about the young victim. You can find all of this information on our website. That's WWMT.com.